Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. Big thanks to everybody who submitted the trick. Each episode I'm giving away a battle pass, so if you got any cool Valorant tricks, make sure to join the Lowlander Discord server and submit your tricky. Now sit back, relax and let's start the video. Icebox, it's back my friends. Here's a cool thing you can do in Tube. If you play Sage, try to place your wall diagonal so it blocks off Tube and it goes a little bit outside window towards middle. If you do this and you jump correctly, you can actually jump on your wall and then stand on top of tube. Of course, this is not something you should do at the start of the round, but you could for example place down your wall and if your teammate is calling that everybody is pushing B, then jump on tube and go for an off angle to defend the side. There's uh, one disclaimer though, before you use this trick, practice it in a custom game, because it's harder than you think. Now a tippy for Yodu, where teamwork is the key. Here's what you gotta do, if you play with Gecko and you both got your ultimate ready, use your ulti, walk in and search for the enemy. Once you spot an enemy, tell Gecko that he has to ult that enemy, and then easy peasy kill for you, look at this clip. Back. Get out <laughs> I think the Gecko ultimate is ideal for this combination, but keep in mind other abilities are also working fine, like the Astra Star for example. I'm back. <laughs> and while we're talking about Yoru, this next clip is very interesting. Here's the situation. It's a one versus one, Phoenix against Yoru, and they are both using their ultimate at exactly the same time. Joke's over. You're I'll dead. This. this brings up the question, what agent is gonna win this round and why are they gonna win that round? I'll show you the answer in a sec, but first, are you playing a lot of competitive games, like two or three each day, but you are struggling a lot to rank up? A bit like uh, me. Then no worries, my friends. I might have something for you, and that's the sponsor of this video, the Immortal roadmap program. This program is the clam de la creme if you want to improve in Valorant. In this program you'll learn everything you need to know to hit immortal. You'll get personalized drills, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, detailed player assessments, live lessons, scrims, and the cool thing, they are so confident in their coaching that they guarantee a 5 division rank up in 8 weeks or you get your money back. Their coaching staff consists of Compaki and over a dozen Radiant coaches with VCT experience. Such as Comet, who was the analyst on Ascent in the year they won the champs, Screwface, who was the 6 man on EG when they won the champions and Gangsta who played on Disguised, Immortals and Knights. If this sounds interesting to you feel free to sign up with the link in the description and be quick as only 16 spots remain for season 17. Let's go back to the video, who will win, Yodu or Phoenix? A key piece of information you should know is that the Yodu ult will take 12 seconds and the Phoenix ultimate will take 10 seconds and because the Phoenix ultimate is done earlier Yodu will win the 1v1. <laughs> I'm back. No. Okay, enough about Yoru, let's talk about Killjoy now. When a casual gamer sent it in this trick, I didn't believe him at first. But apparently with KJ, if you go through the bind teleporter and throw your nano swarm on this spot over here, then the door will stay open. But here's the thing about this trick. Honestly, since the start of Valorant, there were so many glitches about the teleport door, and exactly this glitch was a thing about two years ago. Then it got fixed, and then it got back into the game again, but then it got fixed again, and now it's back in the game. A disclaimer though, this trick might be bug abuse, so use it at your own risk. This next KJ trick is not bug abuse though, I think at least. Do you see this small gap above the wood? Well if you stand close to it and do a right click throw with your nano swarm, your nano swarm will land behind the piece of wood. If you are using this lineup, the enemies might have a hard time finding your nano swarm for the post plant and that's how you can get some sneaky kills on the enemies. Now look at this clip, I think we can all learn something from this clip. <laughs> Yup my friends, in Valorant, knifing an enemy almost gives you no advantage. You don't get extra gold like you get the counter strike. So a tip, if an enemy goes out of the ISO ultimate, just shoot on him, especially when you're behind in rounds. And while we're talking about crazy round, here's another crazy round where I didn't expect the outcome. Never let him know your next move, I guess. <laughs> okay. That's okay. crazy. Nice. Okay, back to the tricks. Forget that clip. I never showed you that. On split, there's a very funny neon jump that you can do. You see this gap over there? What you gotta do is use your E, slide over the gap, and at the last point, jump. When you do this, you will fly very high in the sky, and if enemies are camping on the right side, it's an easy peasy kill for you. The only problem is that it's very situational. I don't think you get a lot of kills with it, but it's something you can do in the pre-round, for example, when you're running around anyway. And while we're talking about strange glitches, if you jump on these boxes with race, your teammate Sage plays a 
a wall underneath you, then you can do a double jump all the way to the top of the container. This however is a game breaking bug so I wouldn't recommend using it, otherwise you might get banned and you don't want that of course. But still it's a funny glitch so that's why I show it in this video. You could also do it on the other side but it probably will get fixed very soon. Now let's go to ascent. You see this hut over there? If you stand on this hut you can look towards a main. Very nice right? Here's the trick. With omen if you know that the enemies are gonna push there, use your ultimate on the hut and easy peasy kills for you. 40. Yo, what? Also, Chili, you won this video's battle pass. Congrats, my friend. Deadlock. I think one of the most underrated updates of last patch is that the deadlock barrier is way bigger now. And because it's bigger, it got a lot more use cases now. Over here on Bind, for example, if you know that the enemies are planting behind Tetris, then throw your barrier in front of showers. As you see, you will split the enemies up in four pieces. And it will be very hard for the enemies to run away. Especially when you have a race, for example, that can throw a nade over there, and you can just wallbang through Tetris. A very OP trick that you can use on any map. Now look at this. This clip i want your opinion about this is the enemy iso here very unlucky or is it his own fault and did he forget to check the wall spike down B. let me know in the comments down below let's go to lotus now for a chamber trick it's actually so simple but i never seen someone using it before on c when the walls are going down walk forward and place your teleporter behind the boxes then try to go for an aggressive peek and when the enemy spots you teleport away of course every enemy will think that you just teleported back on site they'll probably won't check the boxes and that's when you can get some sneaky kills just like gg on gg <laughs> Peace. Of course, you won't have a way out when you're using this trick, so it's very risky, but it might pay off. Also, while we're on C, this site looks a bit different than it used to be. And here's a cool trick you can do on the new site. It's very simple, with Sage, jump on these boxes and place your wall over there. This one is good for two reasons. The first one, you could stand on the left side of your wall. From here, you get a nice off angle for people pushing sand. They'll probably not expect you standing so high. Or alternatively, you could stand on the right side of the wall. And this one is very good for if your teammates are smoking it for example normally you won't be able to look over the smoke but with this wall you can look over it and get some sneaky kills on the enemies now look at this clip this clip proves that a little bit of neon movement practice will get you a long way even the enemy race gave up Running low. <laughs> Okay, okay, I have to be honest, the last few jumps, they weren't really necessary, but well played anyway. Let's go to sunset now. You see these two palm trees? If you are playing Cypher and you jump on these boxes, you can actually place your cam on these palm trees. By placing your cam here, it might be a bit harder for the enemies to spot them. But the cool thing, if you're playing on the attacker side and you place your cam on the right palm tree, you'll be able to look all the way to the defender spawn. A nice one to get some early info to know if the enemies are pushing from there. Also, while we're talking about Cypher on this side, these tripwires over here are one of the most most annoying tripwires in the game. They are very hard to destroy, but here's a way to counter it. Two ways, actually. First one, before the round starts, with Sofa, go to this corner and match the top left corner of your ability bar with the top right corner of the building. Then shoot your arrow with two charges and two bounces. This is a nice arrow you can use when the round is just starting, so you instantly destroy those nasty cypher tripwires. And alternatively, the Yodo clone is your best friend. Just look at this clip. It'll be now let's do a sneaky peeky trick. Here's how you can fake the enemies with jet. You have to do two steps. Step one, place the smoke somewhere close around the corner. And step two, place one smoke a little bit further. Now wait patiently and if the enemies are shooting on the second smoke, that's when you gotta peek and kill the enemies easy peasy. Control. And this my friends, this was the last trick. Thank everybody for the submissions. Don't forget to submit your tricks in the Discord server. And you might win a battle pass in the next episode. Bye bye.